name's Sam Steele. Um, I'm at the moment I'm 20 years old. Um, I did the Elite Model look now. I think it was three years ago now in 2012. Um, from then on, i um, obviously been working in the industry for about two two years since I had to finish my studies. And I'm based in Barcelona at the moment, but I'm I'm, I'm out and about most of the time. Once, once you finish the elite model look, you immediately join the elite branch, and from there on, you you directly do the you go and do your thing. But um, the elite is just yeah, I guess it's just a scouting technique, it's a way of putting it for the agency to find new new talent, I guess. And um, I mean, we're always going to be related in one, you know, one way or another, considering we've been through the competition. But once it's done, it's done. I feel, and um, yeah, I mean, it's decent, good start, good, nice. It's fun, if anything, yeah. I mean, I was never, I never really thought about it, and I was just, yeah, my first, my first trip was to New York, actually, and I thought, well, I was sort of thrown to the deep end of the pool in, in a way. Um, it was, it's hard, obviously, if, if you're not used to traveling and being away from home. The first few trips is always a bit, you know, you're gonna feel homesick, you're gonna miss your friends, family, whatever, but at the end of the day, it's, yeah, you just gotta look at the bright side and, and, uh, and the good good aspects about it. Let's let's put it that way. It's it's quite fun actually. Um, the industry itself is it gives you the opportunity as as it's always said to travel to meet new people and. Obviously, being the working force, it's a di it's a different working workforce. It's it's new. It's not something that might many people know about. But um, it's that it still is a uh, a job, and yeah, you get sort of good things and bad things with any job, really. Most people will probably say is the travel. I mean, it's it just opens a whole bunch of opportunities, and it leads on to so many other things. People who travel end up staying in places they've been and visited and worked there. And, well, no, it's yeah, just for me, that's the main thing. Like for example, I love. My first show in Milan was John Barbatos and John Barbatos, and uh, yeah, it was it was really nice because the clothes are always sick. He he has this sort of rock and roll style, and uh, best of it was the kiss was backstage, and that just pumped up the whole atmosphere, which was really really cool. I really enjoyed that. Um, Etro, I really like. I, I work with them quite regularly, and uh, yeah, they're a really nice client. They're a uh, they are one of the few well, remaining like family businesses, and yeah, it just it makes the whole environment really comfortable, really warm, and, and also the clothes are quite are really nice. So yeah, it just makes a bit of a difference. you start you obviously need to present yourself. if you're going to job or fashion related jobs you obviously need to take minimal care of how you present yourself to to a client but as such I wouldn't call it quite interest interest as in reading up blogs uh, looking in like trends and whatnot I mean you, re you can really choose to get involved in that or not really it doesn't one thing I mean becoming a model doesn't necessarily mean you have to be into the the world of fashion itself it, you can and you can't it really doesn't matter the biggest jump into the industry is finding an agency that wants to represent you so 
Yeah, it's pretty much the same advice. If you already have an agency that is putting money into you and thinks that you can be a profitable talent, there's no reason why you should be worried. Like, just go with the flow, look presentable, and yeah, just sell yourself to the clients. No point in like, fr you know, frowning and uh, having a shitty grin on your face all day because just you know, live the moment, I guess. That's probably the best advice I could give. Not, not much else you can possibly do.